Similar to the numbers issue, the first thing you can try is try and change the regional settings. So let's just get this into Power Query. Immediately we see that it's formatted as text. We're going to try force it to be a date. I'll just replace the current. And you'll see you've got these error messages. Now when you have this, it's quite important, what we're going to do is change how these dates are seen. But notice that it's got the source, which looks like that. Immediately it changed the type. It's often a good idea with dates just to make sure we get back to the raw format and actually delete this type. And now what we're going to do is change it because for some reason Excel is not recognizing it. Under this data type, if we force it to be the date it won't work. But what we can do is if we go here and we right click and we go to change type, right at the bottom you'll see there's an item there saying using locale. And what this is, is specifying what exactly Excel should use for that particular column. So the data type we know, we want it to become a date. Then we can specify the locale. Now depending on where you get the data from, you may need to search th through these. But what we find is the most common ones are going to be the ones towards the bottom here. So because we're in South Africa, the one option is English South African. And you'll see it immediately gives you what it's looking for in South African. So you'll see here, it goes year, month, day. You'll see that's not going to match what we need. We look like we need day, month, year. If we go a little bit lower down, we'll see there's United States. That's definitely not matching what we need. This seems to be going month, day, year. But English United Kingdom seems to go day, month, year with all these various options. So that looks like it might work. Let's check. When I say OK, you'll see it's done it. And immediately, because it thinks now it's found a date, it formats that as a date. And if you check your dates, it looks like it's correct. 14th of the 12th, 2009. It's now showing it on my computer, year, month, day. But at least it seems to recognize that this is the 14th of December, 2009. And it also treats that one, therefore, as the 10th of December, 2009. So one of the first things you're going to do is work on the locales. Just be careful about leaving change in top here. You may find that sometimes it changes top and then you can't really make it go back. Get rid of that, then change the locales.